I guess they want to be with me more often now because before we just hang out like it doesn't matter but now that I'm like this I guess they just want to spend every chance they can with me just in case something else bad happens because I know I'm not the smartest person in the world and basically my friendship got better with some people but now I can't see some of them anymore because they all live far away and I used to walk there but now I can't and even if I got to the house, I can't ring the doorbell because mostly all houses have stairs to the door now. None of them are really flat. I could actually probably stay with my friends then if I could go up the stairs. Because some places don't have elevators, so going upstairs would be nice. Okay. Now all I'm going to be doing, this isn't about strength at all. I'm not having to pull a bunch of school buses or anything. <laughs> it's all based on technique. The chair itself weighs 289 pounds plus your weight. So I'm lifting, how much do you weigh? Uh, yeah. 100 and some pounds. So it's more like, it's like 400 pounds. So it's not going to be something I'm muscling up. It's basically shifting the center of gravity backward and forward to control what the wheels are doing. So initially I'm just going to be pushing back on the assist handle. That front wheel starts to come up and over. And then I push forward to slow it down. So I push back and then forward to slow it down. Okay? The whole time I have total control, so if I want to stop halfway up the step, I can actually do that just by centering it up. Maybe either by going forward or backward, I'm controlling where those wheels are going. It's not about strength, I, mean, I can literally do it with my fingertips, although for safety, I have a grip on it. Going down is just the opposite where I'm initially pushing forward. Now you never get to the point where you're tipping far enough where you can actually fall out of the chair. Well, the first time it always feels like it. But I'm just pushing forward. It starts to go forward. And then I'm just pulling back and pushing down to slow it down. Okay. So again, just pushing forward. And back. And again, once you learn the technique and the control, it's a lot smoother. Um, once, once you do it, once you get it going, once you learn how to do it fairly well, you can do it fairly quickly. So you can do it fairly quick. The hardest part of learning how to do the stairs is probably going forward. Because even as an assistant, it's very... It kind of goes against human nature that you're actually pushing somebody in a wheelchair forward on the stair because I think that's illegal in a lot of states. I think. <laughs> but once you learn that that's exactly what you need to do is push forward and backward, it's very easy to control it. I have heard that some people who are wheelchair bound feel really uncomfortable because they always have to look up to people. Yes. Um, and so what was it like, you know, it's been a long time, what was it like for you to be at eye level and... It felt nice. Because I actually don't have to look down anymore, or up anymore, and they have to look up instead. I get to look down on them. Okay. And, uh... And it when... also felt nice because, like, when I'm down this slope, people sometimes don't notice I'm there. They accidentally bump into me, but if I'm up that high, it's better. Then they'll notice I'm there. Yeah. What did you look like? It's high. Yeah. It's like a robot thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have to keep him out of the skate park, or what? <laughs> <laughs> and that way it's less than this one. This is 289, and with the new seating system that we have, it's about 275. How much is that one? No. Oh, is it? It's got to be close to 300. Most power chairs are about 300 pounds in that ballpark area. Heavy enough that you don't want to try lifting them. <laughs> <laughs>
like what I liked about the high watch chair is like I could actually see out a window to see what the view is like and like now I can't really look out the window because they're always high on but when I tested out the iBot, I actually got to see the scenery of Seattle again for a long time. But I think they'd all be excited for me just to see me again, like at eye level instead of always having to look down and feel sorry for me. That's the one thing I don't like is when people feel sorry for me. Okay, so again, on June 21st at 1 o'clock at the Oak Harbor Lutheran Church, there's a bus pulling event, um, and we are going to be pulling buses to help raise money to buy disabled people wheelchairs. Uh, so we've loaded up the 16 passenger van with as many kids as we can cram in there. There's way more than 16. And uh, again, we're gonna just give it a pull, see how we do, and we're gonna work our way up to a bus. All right, are we in neutral? No break. All right, let's see. If you're interested in helping, you can either pledge uh, to ride on the bus, you can pull buses, or you can just make donations. And again, it's the Oak Harbor Lutheran Church. Uh, they're pulling for people bus pull event on June 21st at one o'clock. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you guys there. Hey, what'd you do before this? Were you always like teacher? That's crazy. How do you pull it? Uh, no. <laughs>